Hey guys! What's up? Well, a lot of you in the comments seem to enjoy the uh, 1986 Kenner Ecto-1 RC conversion build. So, I have a lot of new subscribers now, and a lot of new viewers and all that. And um, so, unless you scroll way down on my video page, all the videos on my page, um, you won't see um, my older projects. But we also converted a long time ago a 1989 TMNT party wagon to RC. And um, this one is a more professional grade uh, job. But uh, let you guys check it out here. So basically, it's all stock except the bottom of it where the running gear is. So the outside, the inside, everything's stock. I got, can't see them, but let me get a flashlight. Got Leonardo and Mikey in there. Um, and I also have a driving video of this on my channel. I'll link in the bottom in the comments and in my description uh, a link to the driving video of this. But it's giving you a once around here. So it just turned out, it's a really nice and easy build. Um, well, I wouldn't say easy. It just took a while, I guess. I don't know. Not hard. It just took a while, but um, taking off the blast shield because it gets in the way when you uh, do this. So this is a uh, CRC carbon fiber professional grade carpet knife chassis. Um, they race these cars about 80 miles per hour around the track in professional RC car racing. So why not use it to convert <laughs> my TM TMNT party wagon to RC, you know? So it has uh, a Savox way overkill servo. <laughs> it's actually a mini black Savox. Um, super efficient, super great, way overkill for this project. But um, I'm using a micro uh, battery pack. Um, it's nickel metal hydride. I could put a lipo in it, but I don't want it to burn to the ground. Um, <laughs> so I got this little bitty uh, ESC out of a smaller hobby grade vehicle that uh, works with this controller. And it's all variable speed, of course. It's all variable steering. And I got a huge 540 sized can motor in here. Now, we don't want to crash this uh, thing because it's, you know, vintage and beautiful. And <laughs> uh, so we got an 85 turn motor in here. It's a rock crawling motor for like uh, RC rock crawlers and things. So it's really slow but really torquey. Um, so our party wagon will go slow and I can't accidentally drive it too fast and wreck it. And we also have it geared load, geared low. So it's only geared for about 15 miles per hour. Which is actually faster than I want to drive it anyway. But I just drive it in the house, see. So, but anyway, I just want to show you guys the chassis and the running gear. And, um, so we had to, uh, just basically mill out a lot of the underside of the party wagon. But, um, yeah, it's a big job if you want to do it like this. If you want to make your party wagon RC easier... It just get an RC car and find a way to mount the body to the chassis. But I wanted to make it where it fits inside the party wagon and it, and it looks like a, you know, it looks like it's made that way almost. But here's the bottom. See, it's also shortened the wheelbase on this uh, chassis. These two bolts that hold the front end are actually supposed to be here and here. But I got them bolted here and here and it fits the wheelbase of the party wagon is perfect but anyway guys I just want to show you this because you guys seem to enjoy the Ecto-1 so much uh, and like I said I'll link uh, I'll put a link to the driving video of this party wagon we also have some dyno videos and some burnout videos I'll link all those in the description and in the comments alright Tim Put your, uh, ask your questions below in the comments if you have any questions on the build or anything like that. So, all right, then. Later, dudes.
You guys still here? Get out of my shop. 